After everything I've been through, there's a huge fear I could have what happened with Ari happen again. But right now, I'm only looking ahead and only looking at the future because I'm serious to find love. Becca is such a dream come true. She's a wholesome person. She's got the look. She's got the smarts. So she deserves it all. Tonight was the best first date ever. And I literally felt like I was flying to the moon on the wings of a Pegasus. This is a real man. It's incredible that Ari let Becca go. She's an amazing woman. And I do see myself falling in love with her. I know that I want somebody to have my back and to stand by me. And that's all I want in a partner coming from a genuine place, and I'm falling in love with you. I can see my husband in this group of guys. It feels good. It feels good to fall in love. I am falling in love with you. Becca, I'm in love with you. I'm so beyond happy and glowing from the inside out. I feel like I can't get the smile off my face. <sighs> what am I doing? that someone would do that. But it just shows what kind of liar and manipulator Lincoln is. And I'm really hoping that Becca sees the lies. I can't sit here and act like everything's all good and dandy. You are a pathological liar. You're worse than Ari, dude. You're worse than Ari. What the f is wrong with you? Jordan is not here for Becca. Jordan is here to boost his modeling career. It's funny you think I'm a joke, because guess what? Attached to me is professionality is my face. So if you want to try to wreck my image, it's actually pretty serious. He's definitely the version of Zoolander. You're worried about being intimate with Becca. Yeah, I'm nervous as because I've been hiding something from her. I was ashamed and I made up lies because um, I still am, I am a virgin. I want you to know too, like I'm not waiting for marriage. I'm waiting for the right person. Colton comes to the table with a lot of fabricated I'm not even sure that Colton's still a virgin. There's no way. Did he hire Steven Spielberg to write his story? Hey, that's a bitch move. Cheers to you being a bitch. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I mean, like, I am so pissed. I just want them to be honest and tell me the truth. I don't know what the is going on. And I'm so pissed because I only am asking for honesty from you guys. That's all I want. And to not get that, I feel so disrespected, and I'm so upset with him, and it scares me. But if anyone else can't be honest with me from here on out, then I don't want you here. When is the line gonna be drawn and like someone like step up to the plate and just say, hey, this is up? I mean, if he's gonna keep throwing punches, I mean, you keep poking the bear, you're gonna get bit. <laughs> he's lying down on the pool of his own blood. And then I see Blake just screaming, you know, like panic mode. I've been so blindsided. I didn't see a lot of what was happening. It's been a whirlwind of a journey, and it's brought me to wonderfully amazing men. But I didn't think I would be here at this point feeling this way for two people. Really, the most tragic part of this is that I am in love with two guys. I don't think anything can prepare you for this. And I feel heartbroken. 